Okay, this is called. Let's toss the topic. It's called Supernova. Hmm. I have to uncross him. It's been an uncrossing, a saging, a removal in all three rounds. In all three rounds, there's been an un, a, a removal, a, um, it's like an excision. Someone, a, a group of people have removed the cancer out of their group. They have decided to this has to do with the serpent and the rainbow. I just heard that. Whatever I said the other day about serpent and the rainbow, I don't know what that means. This has to do with that. So you guys have cut something out. Cut a person out. Cut the main issue out. It's a bunch of females. This group is a bunch of females who had to cut the cut something out. A person, a major person that was bringing hell down on y'all. You cut this person out, and now because you thought that they were actually a divine spirit, but they are not. They are fire from it. They are a serpent, all the way live serpent. And you have totally lost yourself. In that sauce over that way with this person who you thought was a divine being but turned out to be the serpent a serpent and I'm um, talking about something from the pits of hell you're learning that this person has multiple personalities like they cannot be trusted they're schizophrenic this person is schizophrenic and they have a way of calling people to them they are very uh, manipulative. This person is highly manipulative that you had to cut out. Because you really thought they were a divine being. Because they have a way to make you believe that. But they are not. And you also found out that this person was feeding you some type of drugs. Unbeknownst to yourself. Under the guise of a potion. A healing. A healing thing. But this person knew how to mix these particular herbs up to cause a drug effect. So you thought it was an herbal potion, but it was really something to cause uh, a synthetic drug effect. Like if you were on um, Molly's or something like that, a, hallucin a hallucinogenic drug, LSD, stuff like that, Angel does. I don't know if that's the same thing. I never really knew much about drugs. Right. But um, it makes you feel that euphoric feeling. And you thought this person was giving you a type of herbal a, a good herbal drug to cleanse you out or whatever, protect you, whatever you were looking for. But this person actually was feeding you <laughs> a natural form of a drug. Right. They knew how to mix certain, a certain... They don't know how to mix herbs. They just knew how to do this one particular herb because they were taught it when they were younger. So what they did was they've been using that as a... Oh, it's just a healing potion. But it's really a drug. Mm -hmm. When you get hooked on it. <laughs> yeah, you just don't... Yeah, it's like, oh my God, girl, that stuff heals me so well. No, that stuff gets you high, high and addicted, right? So this person was able to make a lot of money off of it. I mean, I don't know how the law works. I mean, this person knew that it would give you a drug effect, like heroin or, or crack. This person knew it would make you feel like that. I'm hearing this person who did that was an ex-addict themselves. So, they're not an ex-addict. They're an addict. <laughs> they're an ex-addict off of that synthetic drug because they learned how to make an herbal drug. And that's what they've been feeding you, the herbal drug. So, this person is still an addict, but they've learned how to make an herbal drug to give you the same effect as a synthetic drug, right? So, they made a lot of money. But I don't know if the government... If the government... um considers that as drugging a person so you would have to look into that if you were you know concerned about about that because i don't know i honestly don't know to me i would they're, they're giving you a potion knowing that it's going to do something to you but don't know you have to talk with your local police department 
for those who want to press charges on this person because you have an addiction you have uh, kidney failure kidney problems yeah, yeah, yeah. unstable emotionally ever since meeting this person your body has shut down almost a lot of your bodies have almost shut down since meeting these this, this person this person was a huge huge they're calling her a cancer it's a her they're calling her a cancer right dark and evil y'all are calling her dark evil and slick because she knew that that potion wasn't a healing potion to her it's healing because she's an addict right she loves it but she got you guys addicted to drugs and you weren't you weren't you weren't into that to that uh viking and yoruba stuff you weren't into that egyptian lifestyle she just had a good program her program was interesting to listen to her talk was interesting because it's a gift for that program when she comes with that program this person sounds like they don't have no sense whatsoever and you realize that that this person doesn't know anything other than their program right that rites of passage stuff that's all this person knows they know that well they know nothing else well because you guys sat down and had a, a real conversation with this person you realize they don't even know how to have a regular conversation with a person the whole program is I I I and the whole program is when you're talking to this person they're still in program right when you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with this person they're still in program so it's I I I donate 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 then we right so I I I donate donate then we we then it's about you and I it's never about you and that person. And you realize that. Never. It's never about that. Because it always goes back to I donate we. I donate weeks. See how far the we, they get away from the we real quick. Real quick. <laughs> oh, real freaking quick, right. They don't play about getting away from that we. Right. They ain't trying. I ain't talking about the game. Right. Mm, mm, mm. And this person is it, this person is like the wind. They to and fro. They every week. They are some other new goddess. They are some other new goddess every week. So it was like you people just couldn't handle it. So you finally cut this person out your life. So what are we talking about now that you cut them out your life? the uh, after effects, the ramifications of what you, what happened to you, right? So like I said, you can go to your local authorities and see how to press charges on this person. And that's really all I, I can do. I mean, they destroyed your body with potions, but you yourself know better. You know better. <laughs> I don't care what credentials they showed you as a herbalist. I would have never taken that. Never. You should have spoken to a doctor. If you have potions, all I can do is tell you to have it analyzed. I mean, it's not, I don't know what's in it. <laughs> I don't. Because it may not be total natural. It may be something synthetic in it as well. I might have started off natural, and then they added synthetic. Right, so I don't know. Check it out. Uh, that'll be it for you guys. Have a great afternoon.